Vertex options allow you to mess with the geometry of the model, so the physical form of the model. Local translation will let you translate it along its local axes. So if you go up to the top left, you can see global, and if you move it along the global axis, you can sort of tell which directions those are. And if you switch it to local, the only difference is that it uses the model's rotation. So if I rotate it, all of a sudden, the red axis is this way, but if I rotate it again, you can see that it's now this way. So if we translate it locally and then rotate it, you'll see that it rotates with it. And if we were to, for example, translate it in world and then rotate it, you can see that it does not rotate with it. It still rotates, but it's not rotating around it. So you would use this if, say, you had like a second set of arms on your model and you wanted to translate them so they were like floating above your normal arms and you could scale them up so they're bigger, something like that. Uh, it's really useful if you don't want to use constraints or anything like that in Unity, but it does require a specific setup. The vertex height is just going to sort of expand it along the normals of the model or the outward direction. And you can use a height map for that which is just a black and white map saying whether it should go up or down. So if I go to this one, for example, now this model is not very high poly and that's going to be an issue for making this actually look good, but you can see it's sort of matching the zigzag texture that I put in. Um, the higher poly your model is, the better it's going to look. This isn't something you generally use on avatars, but it's there. If you want to play with it, feel free. Um, you can also do stuff like if you wanted to pan it. You can do some sort of weird effects with that. If you make it subtle, it's actually not too bad. But play around with it. The mask bias will just control like where in the white to black range is it going in or out. So at, at 0.5 bias, black is going to go inward and white is going to go outward. At zero bias, black is going to stay still and white is going to go out. And then at one, it's going to like go in no matter what, or white will stay in the exact same spot and black will go into a zero point. So by default that's at zero, but generally height maps would be at 0.5, so you could lower or heighten the map. Rounding is basically just rounding the position to a nearest point. So if we turn that on, you're not going to see much difference. But if we lower the division amount to say three, it's basically every three units, it's going to move any of the vertices around it to that point. And the more division you have, the more places it's going to be able to put these points. Um, this is another thing that probably doesn't have a lot of use cases unless you're trying to make like something that looks like a PS1 game or something like that where you didn't you didn't have like a million points that things could be there wasn't um, as much precision so this is just for that stuff and that covers vertex options if you have any questions about this or anything else feel free to join the discord there's a link in the description below thanks for watching